All right, here we go. Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is Zeta TCG here for a bandless type video today. Uh, we are going to discuss a little bit about the Yu-Gi-Oh bandless. And uh, as you see right now, currently, um, we have a picture of the current format we are in right now. And um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, one thing that stands out is where on earth is the end date for our format? Is this ban list going to be the last ban list forever? I mean, what is going on here? I think I think Konami is pretty much done for here because if you look back at the previous format, they added an, an end date, and that was March 31st. And then, um, and then, so on April first, the new format would be effective, right? Well, let's go into some OCG stuff here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have found out that there were no changes made to the OCG ban list. Um, there um, was no changes made to the, to the July 2015 OCG ban list. Um, there were zilch. Nothing changed at all in the OCG ban list. So here's how I'm going to base this video off of. I'm going to base this video off of two separate criteria of, um, of what should be on our, on what should be or what may be coming to our upcoming ban list. And um, the second criteria being, um, oh wait, um, I don't even know what the hell I just said. Um, but okay, anyways, um, scratch all that. Okay, first criteria, uh, what does the OCG have? And second criteria is what should or should not be banned. So um, right now, currently, um, these were the last changes made to the OCG ban list. And this was for... Um, Right here, um, you, got, you can you guys see that right there? Yeah. Okay. Um, that was for that. Um, this was for the April first um, ban list. So obviously they added all of the dragon rulers and they added El Shadal construct uh, because Dark Magician and Chaos got eroded. It's now a one Curry Bandit Mad Petition, uh, Brianak Cycle, uh, El Shadal Fusion Sacrifice, and Emptiness all got put to one. Some unlimited were Manju, Scout, Formula Synchron, and Wind Up Carriers and Maiden. And then everything that isn't uh, limited was uh, Arc Lord Christia, uh, basically Baby Dragons, and uh, also Rooster, um, and Zector Hornet. Senju got, uh, got put to three. Sinister Serpent got put to three. And as you guys know, that card got the errata. Uh, Wenda was, was previously uh, on the list, but now it's not. Uh, Xi'an is not on the list. Number 11 is on the list. Um, Monster Gate, Temple of the Kings, Exchange of the Spirit, all put to three on the ban list. So these were the last changes made to um, the OCG ban list. And so I'm going to discuss with you guys a potential ban list. And I do have some cards from the OCG uh, ban list on here. Uh, and I even have cards from our ban list. So uh, I'll get started. Um, Cards that I think that could get hit, or cards that I think should be banned. Um, every ban list I make, I'm gonna have Judgment Dragon on there because I hate Light Swords with a strict passion. I like my ultimate goal in life, or at least one of my ultimate goals in life, are to get every single Yu-Gi-Oh player to never to never try to play Light Swords. Okay, I hate Light Swords with so much passion. It's ridiculous. You run into this card, you already know it's game over. So, this card should be banned. Uh, easy. Um, Royal Tribute. Um, if you guys watch Asian Ice, I know I do because Asian Ice is pretty good. But uh, he he explains why Royal Tribute should be banned. Royal Tribute is pretty damn good. Um, if if you can top deck this card, oh my god, man! If you're playing Gravekeepers and you top deck Royal Tribute whenever you really need it the, mo the most, 
you already know, man. It's it's gonna pull out some crazy stuff, some absolute crazy stuff. So I think Royal Tribute should be banned here soon. Uh, it may not get the hit um, this ban list, but it probably will eventually. Um, Sacrifice. Um, I I want I want to think that Konami is trying to promote um, ignites for pendulums now. They're not they're not gonna try to promote uh, cleave forts in any way. Um, so I think uh, they'll ban Sacrifice for a little bit, um, just so Cleeforts can kind of be irrelevant for a couple formats, maybe two, three, maybe even four formats. Uh, we'll see. Uh, same thing goes for Skill Drain. Although Skill Drain, though, Skill Drain is a card that you can attack in any deck, uh, even. Um, it's it's absolutely insane. Um, you top deck Skill Drain and you set it, and you're able to activate it in your opponent's turn. That's some good stuff, dude. And Skill Drain is a card that everyone hates. Even I hate it, man. When I run into it, it's it's game over. Unless if I top deck into like MST or or some card that I can get rid of it. Cyclone. Um, if that fuck, um, I already forgot the fucking name of the card. Um, that's like a Cyclone. I already forgot the damn name. Um, but anyways, but like cards like MST Twister, um, such, um. Unless if you top deck into those cards, um, Skill Drain is going to beat you down pretty easy. Uh, next card uh, is Chicken Race. And let me tell you guys something about Chicken Race. Chicken Race, this might be another Temple of the Kings type of card. Um, as you guys saw here, um, Temple of the Kings, this card got immediately put to, uh, like, banned from what, apparently, I, I don't know if this is true. Uh, let, let me clarify with some of you guys if you don't know. Um, I just got back into the Yu-Gi-Oh game. I used to be a really, really diehard fan of Yu-Gi-Oh whenever I was really young, but I just recently got back into it just about maybe around this time last year, whenever, um, as, as of the day I'm recording this right now. And, um, and, uh, I did, I did hear from somewhere that, ch that, um, uh, that chicken race, um, uh, Temple of the Kings got, got banned as soon as it came out in a set in, uh, the TCG. So, um, because they knew that people would abuse its effect for being able to activate trap cards from your hand. Um, kind of like that one card, I think it's, uh, Makira? Uh, man, I don't even know, man. Uh, I could probably find it. Actually, uh, I could get you the name. Um, yeah, Makira, the, the Destructor right there. Um, Makira lets you, uh, activate, um, trap cards from your hand. And so I know Konami is trying to slow, slow down the game a little bit, or at least trap cards a little bit, by banning those type of cards. And once they eroded Temple of the Kings, they were able to put it at one. And uh, I have seen some play of Temple of the Kings. But let me, uh, let me tell you guys, Chicken Race. Chicken Race is a card that can open up so many plays. And I'm talking about so many play plays with one particular card alone, and that is Royal Magical Library, which is also on this list, just for the sake. Um, Royal Magical Library can help you open up so many players, uh, play, plays, not players. Um, as we all know, we all know the FTK Exodia, where you just run like, like, um, like 33, 32 magic cards or, or spell cards, and you have three copies of Library and obviously the five pieces of Exodia. And, um, and you just and, and you just summon this guy, then you already know you have all the draw power you need. So, so with that said, um, um, chicken race with this card, Royal Magical Lib uh, Library together, they can easily open up a shitload amount of plays, and I've seen. I've seen so many videos, I've seen so many duels on Dueling Network even, even uh, Dev Pro, as you see right now, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Um, Chicken Race just opens up so many plays, and the way it opens up so many plays is absolutely ridiculous. This card could get banned as soon as it comes out in the TCG. That's, that's how good this card is. So, I will conclude the cards I think should be banned right here. I'll only call them for about five. Um, now, I'm going to get to cards that should be at one. And uh, probably should be a one. And of course, I'm just going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Uh, Elemental Hero Stratos. 
Stratos should not be banned. Straight up. I mean, we have Bryanac at 2. It's a searcher. And you can toss Bryanac, and you can use one of the Necros uh, rituals like a uh, Cycle to to use a card in your graveyard to, to, to special summon, uh, say, Trish or Unicorn or what have you. And, and Stratos, Stratos, there's so many... There's so many uh, better searchers right now that could possibly even get hit. But with Stratos just being like an, an e-emergency call in, in a monster form, it's, it's ridiculous. And masked heroes are not even complete unless they have Stratos. If you go into the OCG, they have Stratos. And so it's just... It's just more it's just more efficient to put Stratos at one, just make it fair. Finally get get rid of this hate about Konami banning Stratos and, and keeping it banned because reinforcement of the army is the best searcher in my mind in the game. Reinforcement of the army, uh tune table contents is also another good search. Uh Summoner's Art is also a very good search now. And obviously, Bryanac being being a good searcher for its uh, its archetype and and uh, necros, but with Stratos being banned, that's stupid. Do you want to go ahead and ban Summer's Art, Rhoda, and Bryanac as well? Whenever they probably shouldn't be banned, it's ridiculous. So I think Stratos should come to one, be at one, and make us happy. Eventually, it could go to two, but yet again, with Stratos at two, it still opened up so many loops. Like the, uh, like, um, uh, uh, fuck, I forgot the name. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, Blade Armor Ninja. Um, yeah, okay, there was that Blade Armor, uh, Ninja loop that can OTK your opponent pretty easy. And, uh, so I think Stratos at one, you could try it too if you want, but Stratos at one definitely. Uh, Brian Eck, um, uh, being at one, uh, it's a possibility just because. Uh, the last changes made to the OCG ban list, they put Brian X straight to one, as well as Necro's Cycle. So th that's why I have those two on my list right now, is because Cycle, I don't see Cycle being played much in most Necro's duels I see, but but when you have the chance to play Cycle, you know you're probably going to lose. Well, if you're on the losing end, that is. But um, with Cycle and Brian X at one, that can definitely slow down Necro's for sure. And even considering Trish at one, and Un I know that Unicor at one for sure can slow down Necro so much because Unicor is your uh, four star uh, monster that, that 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 allows you to go into Revival Chain, uh, Digusto, and uh, even like number one hundred one if you need it. So I know, I know Necros can easily get slowed down with one with one of. With the two of these four cards getting hit, um, I don't know which card will get hit. Uh, if Bryanac goes to one, uh, for sure Necros are getting slowed down. Um, with um, Cycle though going to one, even maybe even two, but um, yeah. But yet again, most players run two of each of the Necros spell cards, so I think I think Cycle to one and maybe Bryanac to one would definitely slow down Necros for sure. And so I'll bring it over to uh, their support cards here with Manju and Senju. Um, we see here um, in the OCG list, we have Manju at 2 and we have Senju at 3. So you guys see that right there? We have Manju and then we have Senju down here. So yeah, um, we have those two, two cards in the OCG where obviously Manju is the better because Manju gives you that option to either go for... Uh, a ritual spell or a ritual monster while uh, Senju just allows you to go for that ritual monster, right? So we obviously need to or, or well obviously these two need to be addressed in some way. So uh, you could hit them, uh, you can hit one of them to one or both of them to like two. Um, I don't think though they will get hit though because um, you do have the red eyes, uh, the red eyes ritual card coming out, and I think Konami would like players to have this card available to their disposal for that, for that kind of red eyes deck. 
uh, next card summoner's art uh, this is coming back to slowing down plea forts but yet again also even potentially uh, slowing down ignites just a little bit because ignites are going to be the thing they're going to be a big meta they're going to be just like necros the way they are right now and before the um, and before the previous format so i think with some summoners are at one it will definitely slow down a lot of decks but it will slow down ignites to the point where they aren't crazy fast okay where there's no response to them so i think summoners are to one is a possibility here for sure uh, next el shadal fusion and also shadal fusion uh, these two um these two uh um man shit fuck uh, i don't know what i'm gonna say um okay el shadal fusion is in the ocg band list it's at one and i think the reason why it's at one is because el shadal fusion is is probably the fastest spell card you can put in a shadal deck uh it's always a quick play and it allows you just quickly fusion summon during your battle phase even or even to avoid to avoid damage so I could see it getting hit if, if they will try to slow down Shadals. And that will even take, take me back here to Construct a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll go to Construct in a little bit. But um, to be honest, I still believe personally, this is just me personally, Shadal Fusion is the best fusion card for Shadals in my mind. Because you know, you know all formats are going to be surrounded around special summoning. And whenever your opponent has that special summon monster on, the, on their side of the field, Shadal Fusion can come in handy so easy. And so I think, personally, one of these two, if, if one of these two get hit at one, Shadal's will be slowed down a lot. But I think, most likely, though, it will probably be El Shadal Fusion, just because of its quick play uh, value. Uh, next, Curry Bandit. Uh, as Again, I mentioned earlier, Curry Bandit got put to one in OCG. It's a chance it could get put to one in in the TCG, just because of well, Burning Abyss are still a little are still a little relevant, just because of Pult Lemaeus, uh, Teller Knight Pult Lemaeus, uh, they actually had they were actually able to find some use for that card, and that's actually really surprising for me too, because I figured that Pult Lemaeus would be used for for bringing out uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity, so. Uh, Curry Bandit, uh, it could happen. I'm not, I'm not saying it will. Same thing goes for Mathematician. Ma mathematician, though, is pretty solid. Um, if you're, um, if you uh, run Necros with Mathematician, I have seen some builds with, with that card in it. Um, you already know the first card they're trying to ditch is, is the Jin to get you into that Jin lock. So, Mathematician could possibly get the hit more than Curry Bandit in my mind. So, it's it's highly possible here in my mind. Uh, Royal Magical Library, again, I came back to uh, to the crazy plays. We're going to open up with Chicken Race. Uh, Royal Magical Library is insane. Um, this card is too much, man. So, I, I've already explained my argument a little bit going back to Chicken Race. It could, it could be put at one. It'll be fine. Uh, next, Summoner Monk. Um, I really don't like putting this card on that list because I love Summoner Monk. I use Summoner Monk. But Summoner Monk is is pretty damn good. Um, in Mass Heroes, you, you automatically run two copies of it. And, and you try to ditch um, either uh, Miracle Fusion, Rhoda, uh, maybe even uh, A Hero Lives, and uh, E-Call as well. And... Um, and you already know that um, running two copies a monk, it's going to help you a lot in Mass Heroes, and it's going to help you a lot in so many other decks as well, too, that it's going to be crazy. So with Monk at one, it'll, it'll slow down a whole lot of decks. It would have me rethink my strategy whenever I ran Mass Heroes against some, some players. So, um, yeah. Possibly at one. Uh, hopefully it doesn't in my mind because I do love Monk. It, it, it's it's one of the best cards in my mind. The best the best be the best four star monster in my mind. Next, Dark, Dark Magician of Chaos. Just because it's getting eroded, uh, it could come back at one. Same thing with Chaos Emperor Dragon and Boy at the end. This card got eroded 
two. Uh, let me find it here. Uh, yeah, right there. Chaos Ember Dragon got uh, or got the eroded in the OCG. So Chaos Ember Dragon does have a chance to come back um, in the TCG if they come back with its eroded effect. Uh, next card, Cyberstein. Uh, it's it's been brought up to me by some people I've talked to, um, but um, this card is actually still pretty good. If you can get this card in your opening hand, or even uh, first draw, first second draw, while while you still have a lot of life points, um, easy man, easy way to to bring out uh, Norden or, or Noden whatever you go by, uh, and even even some top f fusion monster cards, like even a, like a Blue Eyes Ultimate. Um, so yeah, uh, you, it's it's not likely, but it's worth putting putting on this list. Next up, Harpy's Feather Duster. I believe this card, Feather, Jesus, um, I believe Feather Duster got the errata too. Um, is it... Okay, well, I don't think it did. It did get an errata, but it did get put to limited in the OCG, and Heavy Storm actually got the ban. So, it's it's a possibility with these two, one of them could could come back. But if they bring back Feather Duster, that's that's gonna be some ape shit right there, dude. Like I'll be shitting bricks because Feather Duster is so so good we all know but yet again with heavy storm heavy storm can, can open up some plays if, if you have a set card or or, or if you have a bot okay like for example if you have fiendish chain that doesn't have a, a target equipped to it uh heavy storm can can clear your back row and, and it'll also clear your opponent's back row too so heavy storm does have that viable option but yet again feather duster is also pretty good as well so it's a possibility these two could come back. I think, I think though, I'm going to lean my chances towards Feather Duster, though. That's just me. Uh, Monster Reborn. <laughs> I really don't know what to say about Monster Reborn. Uh, because, if you, because, obviously, top decking into cards like Monster Reborn or, or Raigeki whenever you really need it is just the best feeling on Earth. But with Re Monster Reborn, I think think it could possibly come back uh if it does it'll be like like i said with another card um like um uh, sacrifice i said it, if they ban sacrifice um they could bring it back in like three or four formats uh same thing goes for monster reborn try to bring it back in about three or four formats from now and see what happens um next mass driver uh i don't know why a card like this is banned um I was really confused when I saw a card like this on the ban list. Um, I don't know if it's because it can open up potential plays, or probably the fact that it's also continuous, even. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know why it's on the ban list. Uh, I really don't. Um, it's honestly a waste of space, if you ask me. That's just me. Uh, next, uh, Gateway of the Six. Uh, the way, the way they're starting to treat cards in the OCG now, like okay, we have um, they have Xi'an at at three, and we have Xi'an at two right now at the moment because six Sam's are not fast enough to go up against the current meta with Necros and Cleaforts right now, and even future metas like like Ignites. Um, so I think. Um, Personally, here Gateway of the Six could make a comeback. Uh, I think if it does, it's going to be here soon. I'm talking about maybe this upcoming ban list, and possibly the next ban list after if it doesn't come up in this upcoming ban list. So I'll leave it at that there for Gateway of the Six to be at one. Uh, next, Premature Burial. Uh, I've had a little conversation about this card coming back. Um, the one thing though that gets in the way of it not coming back is that its searchability. It being an, an equipped card, you can use a card like uh, Hidden Armory to search out for in your deck whenever you really need, whenever you really need it the most. But yet again, there's also a card at one right now that does pretty much something similar, but Soul Charge, uh, Soul Charge being at one, but also has the bigger cost 
than this card. Um, it could um, it could leave pre premature burial out hanging in the dust. So I think premature burial coming back soon probably won't happen. But it's still worth putting on on a list like this. Uh, next, reinforcement of the army. Like I said, um, the searchers in this game are insane. Uh, Rhoda, Tune Table of Contents, um, Bryanak, uh, Stratos. This, this, this searcher right here is one of the best searchers in my mind in the game. Reinforcement of the army is, is just at the very top of the list for searchers. So I think putting it at one, it can slow down Ignite's... Um, it can slow down some necros a little bit too, because because let's face it, if Bryanak get put gets put to one, they are going to run three copies of Rhoda to um, to try to bring bring out uh, Bryanak or Trish, maybe even uh, well, actually not not Unicorn, but um, possibly I, I believe Claus Solus is a warrior. Uh, they could possibly try to search out for Claus Solus with Rhoda. So I think with Rhoda put at one, you could slow down Ignites and you also slow down Necros with trying, trying them to get Brian X so easy. Uh, next, uh, Scout, uh, Cleaport Scout. Um, this comes back to Searchers. Um, you could try it at one to slow down Cleaforts, but yet again, if you're going to put Sum Summoner's Art at one, Cleaport Scout can be at two. So that's that. Uh, next, and Zector Hornet. Um, it's cards at one because we we all know that insectors need more more of dragonfly than what they do hornet, and as we see right here, uh, insector hornet got put to three in the OCG ban list. So there's a chance insector hornet can be put to two or three. Uh, it could even make that jump to three even because insectors once again insectors it comes back to what I said about six sams they just won't be that fast. So. I'll move on to Dragon Ravine. Um, I think Konami will try to promote Dragoonies a little more. Try to put this card at two, uh, so you can use, uh, so you can uh, not run as many copies as Terraforming. If 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 you do run Dragoonies, so uh, that could be a big help. Uh, next, Vanity's Emptiness. Um, I actually want to see this card at two. Um, I don't like it being at one. We need to be able to slow down. This upcoming meta in some way, if they choose not to hit it with, say, Summoner's Art or Rota. So we need to put Vanities at two, uh, in my mind, just to slow down the meta a little bit, because when you can, because obviously we all hated running into Vanities because it was at three, but if you can put Vanities at two, it could just be a little better. It won't be terribly, terribly upsetting whenever you know that he had. That our opponent has a faster chance of running into a, of a, of top decking into a, this card, so I'll leave it at that for for um, vanities because vanities at two won't hurt anything. In fact, it'll only help help slow down the meta a little bit because we know that with vanities, it's going to leave the field whenever you have to MST or activate a. A trap or a monster, or, or a, a spell card rather. Next, burial from a different dimension. Um, because I run cyber dragons, I actually run this card, and this card, if this card goes from one to two, that's going to help me out so much with cyber dragons. And I've heard conversations about burial being possibly put at two because there aren't really any major uh, competitive decks that can put this card in their deck, even their side deck even. But in my case, for me with Sire Dragons, because I run Overload Fusion, Overload Fusion, um, you have to banish your monsters from either your um, from, from either your field or a graveyard to special summon a dark machine type fusion. And so with Burial being put at two, it can help me a lot because then I don't have to run um, um, Miracle... Um, the name uh, I think it's a uh, miracle dig that's the name and um, I don't have to run that as many copies as that card because that card is actually slower than this card um, you need five banished monsters to be able to return three while this card lets you return up to three so burial being put to two it, it can help me out and it, and it can also help out a whole lot of players as well 
um, that concludes uh, main cards. Uh, I'll go into some extra deck cards. Uh, El Shadow Construct. Uh, Construct got the ban hammer in OCG. Uh, I did say that earlier. Uh, it got it got the ban hammer, and um, with Construct being banned, Shadals will be nothing. I know that for sure, because you because Shadals need to have that toss effect to where you can put, let's just say, like a, a dragon to get your draw power, or um, a falco, or uh, or a squamata, or a lizard, whatever you have uh, in your Shadal deck. But with Shadal Construct being banned, sh should also be nothing. I know that for sure. Uh, Winda, they had Winda on the list previously, uh, and so um, I... I'm just going to bring it up here with y'all. Um, if there's any chance that Winda can get banned or hit in some way, um, that would actually surprise me more because the OCG has this card at three and construct that one or zero or yeah, banned rather. So uh, that could be that could be to coincide with banning their main their main uh, toss effect card with construct. Um, next card, uh, Tr Trishla, Dragon of the Ice Barriers. Um, uh, th this effect is really too good. I mean, obviously, it's like the other Trish we all know. Um, but this this Trish is still pretty good. Um, it obviously has the same effect as Necros of Trish. So if Necros of Trish is not going to get hit then why why is this card so banned? Um, that's that's the main argument I've got from from people I've talked to with about um, Trishla. So um, it could come back. It, it depends on what Konami does with Necros of Trish, though. Next up, Wind Up Carry is in Mady. Uh, as we see here, uh, they have Zen Mady at two in the OCG. So, um, we still have Zen Mady though, banned, and honestly, its effect, uh, I could see its effect being a pretty solid effect two or three years ago, but now, uh, wind-ups are just not fast enough. Uh, this comes back to what I've said about Insectors and Six Hams. Wind-ups will just not be fast enough with Zen Mady. With, with, with Zen Mady even being at two in the TCG, wind-ups still cannot be as fast as Necros. Uh, Cleave Forts, uh, Ignites, and other uh, up-and-coming metas. They just cannot be too fast. So, yeah, um, I think that's it. I think that's all I got um, for my ban list uh, discussion. Um, I really don't know what to say, though, about Konami. Um, you would think by now that they would have an end date to the ban list, right? But they don't. So that's obviously a little bothersome to me. It, it bothers me a little bit. But um, I think Konami will get their act together a little bit. Um, uh, I'll say they're going to announce something. I'm recording this on the 27th, um, June 27th, and... Uh, I'll say uh, they make some announcement after uh, July 1st. Uh, I think uh, probably July 1st they'll, they'll announce something. They'll probably give us a date. And I think that date will probably be uh, midway in July, possibly. Like here. Uh, let me open up the calendar. Um, uh, um, Okay, July 1st is on a Wednesday. I'll say they make some some sort of announcement before July 4th. Um, if they are going to, we don't even know what the hell they're doing. They're probably trying to go after Kojima about uh, uh, PT and uh, Silent Hills. So, um, yeah, um, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, but I think this will be it for my bandless discussion video, you guys. Um, I, I want to go ahead and bring this up to you guys uh, I am streaming on Twitch now it's not the best stream because apparently 3.06 gigahertz processor doesn't do shit 
Um, but and also eight gigs of RAM does not do shit. Um, and um, my Twitch uh, name is Sunny underscore Choppers. It's going to be in the description below. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at ZetaTCG as well as Instagram at ZetaTCG as well. Um, if you want to do me on Dueling Network or even on a, uh, or I, I may even. Uh, I may even do some duels on YGO Percy, even though Percy's not too good. But uh, on on Dueling Network, it is Zeta Yugi, um, and you, you'll probably see me on there um, a lot this upcoming week, um, as I am trying to uh, get some more content for you guys. I do have faster internet now, uh, so I will be up uploading a lot more. Um, and also uh, here soon. Um, I am going to be buying my Cross Souls box uh, and also a Duelist Pack Battle City box as well because there are some amazing cards in that set. So stay tuned for that, guys. And uh, I think I'm going to get, go ahead and call it right here. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember to please like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon videos. And I'll, I'll always say this every video, you guys, but I have not forgotten about, about Pokemon. I promise. I absolutely promise. I'm just trying to find the right thing to open for Pokemon, okay? Because I haven't played X and Y, and I've only played up to Black and White. So I'm trying to find the right set here to open for you guys. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, uh, once again, please remember to like and subscribe.